Alright, what's up guys? Uh, funny story about this video. This is, you know, current me. I actually recorded this audio a couple days back when I got drunk. Uh, I must have thought it would have been a great time to record myself ranting about why WWE title belts in today's modern era suck. And uh, yeah, I do stand by most of the stuff I say, but if I was to actually make the video sober, it would be much easier to understand. But I thought, yeah, let's have some fun with this. I've already got the audio track made, so I may as well upload it anyway. So this is uh, Drunk Mechabroski ranting about the WWE title belts that suck and why they suck in his humble opinion. I'd just like to say I'm working on a uh, documentary project like my last few videos have been, so if you want to see more of that, don't worry, you will in the future. But uh, enjoy, ladies and gentlemen, and try to keep up with my drunken philosophy. The Brass Ring, the WWE Championship, the title belt, whatever you call it, you can't deny how important it is as a visual motif and a prop in the wrestling industry, because when you think about it, sometimes the title itself is more important than what the two men or women do in the ring for the title. Why? Well, because the title justifies everything that goes down in the ring. The two people, or however many people in the match that are fighting for it, want it around their waist for one reason. Because it makes sure everyone knows that they are the one who have climbed to the peak of the wrestling industry. And not only do they get to live and bask in the glory of that achievement, they also get to wear something that makes them look like a million bucks, makes them look like a real champion, whether it's on their shoulder or around their waist to help hold up their slacks when they walk to the ring. Title belts are important, which is why I don't understand why WWE title belts today look complete fucking shit when you look at them in comparison to previous generations title belts. Like, what happened WWE? Did you fire the title belt manufacturer that had been making your titles throughout the 80s, 90s, even through the early 2000s and 2010s? Did someone pass away that was responsible for de designing the genuinely great belts and now you've got some art student who's phoning it in? Because this shit is terrible. Come on, Roman Reigns looks like a baby when he holds these titles up. He looks like a little kid in the bath with his fucking little bubble blower and his rubber duckies when he holds this thing. Come on man, baby Reigns. Baby Reigns. Title belts in the WWE today look like complete trash in comparison to the past, and I've got a couple of bullet points explaining why. Yes, I've had a couple drinks, and yes, I did like the spinner belt, so let's just get right into it, okay? Let's just do it before I fucking lose my mind. Alright, so my first problem with title belts in today's uh, WWE is coloured straps. Now, I don't have any genuine problem with coloured straps. I think if the colour suits the title belt's faceplate and side plates, it can work a dream. Hey, one of my favourite title belts of all time is the White Strap Intercontinental Championship. Not only does the faceplate look absolutely awesome, but it just suits the title itself. There's something really, really kind of historic about the color white, especially when it's got a gold faceplate on it, and it really worked. Some superstars that looked great when they had the title were Dolph Ziggler and The Miz, but um, even, even the Oval in, uh, Intercontinental Championship from the past looked great on superstars like Jericho. In fact, it looked wrong on anyone else, in my opinion, if it wasn't around the waist of Chris Jericho. But there's something kind of lazy about using coloured straps now, because instead of using them to, you know, complement the faceplate or the gold, they instead now use it to just define what brand the title is belongs to. And I think that's stupid, because they don't need to do that. Well, they don't need to, it's lazy, it's cost cutting of course, because Look back into the Ruthless Aggression era, back when SmackDown and Raw had their own individual main event titles. They had the Undisputed Championship and the Heavyweight Championship. Heavyweight Championship title was from WCW, but you don't fix what's not broken, and by god, that title is just delectable. I, I love looking at it, it's great. 
and so is the Undisputed Championship. The reason why those two titles are great is because when you look at them, they're so visually different that it's impossible to really mix up which brand they were on. They didn't need no fucking tacky red or blue face plates or fucking straps. They just needed to look visually different and appealing, and they did, and that's why it fucking worked. So WWE, I can't understand why you can't just make titles that look visually appealing for both brands, instead of sharing titles over each one. I can't even tell who is WWE like SmackDown Heavyweight Champion or SmackDown Champion. I don't even watch the product much anymore. And SmackDown Women's Champion. Because both the titles practically look the fucking same. Raw and Raw Champ and Raw, Raw Women's Champ? What the fuck's that about? Who can tell the difference? I can't. I can't tell the difference. Man, it's just fucked. Next bullet point, there ain't enough gold. You want to know the one title on the roster that I think looks genuinely decent? On the main roster, that is? The US Championship. Because it's gold. It's got a sleek, it's got a sleek design. It looks good design-wise. Gold, there's tons of it. Gems, tons of it. And the faceplate has an order, a, a visual, visually audible, a visually recognizable design, sorry. Man, fuck. A visually recognizable design that has practically everything a good title belt needs. And because of it, it looks great on most superstars that wear it. But when you look at the, you know, modern WWE titles, what you effectively get is as little gold as possible on the faceplate so that the WWF, the, the WWE logo can shine through. When WWE logo looked practically fine on the spinner belt. I get people don't like the spinner belt very much, but I fucking like that title quite a bit. Uh, um, what else? Well, there's the fucking... Oh, the tag team titles are just the same for each brand. Again, going back to the previous example, why in the blue hell do you have the same tag team titles on both brands, but with a different strap, when in not even... Not even 10 years ago. Oh, it could have been longer than 10 years ago. Fuck, I don't know. Well, like, the previous generation title belts, the tag team titles are different for both brands. I genuinely adore the tag team title belts from SmackDown, but I also like the raw tag team title belts of the, of the Ruthless Aggression era. Looking at them now, they are just, they are the worst. They look just the same as the bronze, like, dollar belts. But now they're silver, and I'm not talking silver dollar as in the fish. I'm talking silver as in my hair, if I think about shit that stresses me out today, you know? I don't get this shit. WWE, what the fuck's up with you? Man, what the fuck? And finally... Oh, fuck, nah, that's it. That's all I have to say. That's all I've got. Thanks.